chapter 4 reproductive health you have learned about you have learned about human reproduction system and its function in chapter 3 now let's discuss a closely related topic reproductive health what do we understand by the term reproductive health what do we understand by this term the term simply refers to the healthy reproductive organ with normal function however it has a broader perspective and it includes the emotional and social aspects of reproduction also according to the who world health organization reproductive health means a total well-being in all aspects of reproduction that means physical emotional behavior and social therefore a society with people have physically and functionally normal reproductive organ and normal emotional and behavior interaction among them in all sex related aspects might be called reproductively healthy why is it significant to maintain reproductive health and what are the methods taken to achieve it let us examine them reproductive health problems and strategy india was amongst the first country in the world to initiate action plans and programs at national levels to attain total reproductive health as a social goal these programs called family planning were initiated in 1951 and were periodically assessed over in the past decades improved programs covering wider reproductive reproduction related areas are currently in operation under the popular name reproductive and child health care rch programs creating awareness among people about various reproduction related aspects and providing facilities and support for building up a reproductive healthy society are the major tasks under these programs with the help of audio visual and the print media governmental and non-governmental agencies have taken various steps to create awareness among the people about reproductive related aspects parents and parents of the teacher parents other close relatives teachers and parents also have a major role in the dissemination of the above information introduction of sex education in schools should be encouraged to provide wide information to a young so to discourage child from believing in myths and having misconceptions about sex related aspects proper misinformation about reproductive organ adolescence and related changes safe and hygienic sexual practices sexually transmitted diseases aids etc would help people express especially those in the adolescent age group to lead a reproductive healthy life educating people especially fertile couple and those in marriageable age group about available birth control care of pregnant mother postnatal care of the mother and the child and the importance of breastfeeding equal opportunity for the both and male and female child it is a would address the importance of bringing up socially conscious healthy families of desired size awareness of problems due to due to uncontrolled population growth social evil like sex abuse and sex related crimes this needs to be created to enable people to think and take up necessary steps to prevent them and thereby build up a socially responsible and healthy society successful implementation of various action plans to attain the productive health requires strong infrastructural facilities professional expertise and maternal support and material support these are the essential to provide these are essential to provide medical assistance and care to people in the production related problems like pregnancy delivery std abortion contraception menstrual problems infertility implant implementation of better technique and the new strategy from time to time are also required to provide more efficient care and system to people 
रिसर्च ऑन वेरियस रिप्रोडक्शन रिलेटेड एरिया आर इनकरेज एंड सपोर्टेड बाई गवर्नमेंटल एंड नॉन गवर्नमेंटल एजेंसीज to find out new method methods and or to improve upon the existing one do you know saheli a new oral contraceptive for the female saheli for the a new oral contraceptive for the female was developed by scientist at uh, developed by scientists at central drug research institute in cdri in lucknow better awareness about sex related matter increased number of medically assisted deliveries and better postnatal care leading to decreased maternal and infant mortality rate increased number of couples with small families better detection and cure of cds overall increased medical facilities in all the sex related facilities it is all indicate improved reproductive health of the society population stabilization and birth control in the last century of all around development in various field significantly improved the quality of life of the people however increased health facilities along with the better living condition had an explosive impact on the growth of the population the world population which was around 2 billion 2000 million in 91900 rocketed to 6 billion by 20 by 2000 and 7.2 billion in 2011 a similar trend was observed in india too our population was approximately 350 million at the time of our independence but reached to the billion mark by 200 2000 and cross 1.2 billion in 2011 a rapid decline in death rate mortality material mortality rate mmr which is known as infant mortality rate imr as well as increase in number of people in the reproductive early age are probably reason for this through our reproductive child health programs thou be could bring down the population growth rate it was only marginal according to 2011 census report population growth was less than 2% that means 20 out of 1000 per year a rate at which our population could increase rapidly such an alarming growth can lead can lead to an absolute scarcity of even the basic requirements that means food shelter and clothing in spite of significant progress made in those areas therefore the government were forced to take up serious measures to check this population growth rate the most important setup to overcome this problem is to motivate a smaller family by using various contraceptive methods you might have seen advertisement in the media as well as posters posters ya bills showing a family of couple with two children with a slogan hum do hamare do many couples mostly the young urban working ones working ones have even adopted an one child norm such set to tetri rising of marriageable age of the female to 18 years female to 18 years and the male to 21 years an incentive given to couples with small families are two of the measures taken to tackle this problem let us describe some of the commonly used contraceptive method which help prevent unwanted pregnancies 
an RDL contraceptive should be user friendly, easily available, effective, and reversible with no at least side effect. It should it also should in no way interfere with the sexual drive, desire, or the act of the user. A wide range of contraceptive methods are presently available in in the market could be broadly grouped into the following categories, namely natural traditionals, barriers, IUCDS, oral contraceptives, injectable implants, and surgical methods. Natural method. Natural method. Natural methods works on the principle of avoiding chances of ovum and sperm meeting. Periodic abstinence is one of such methods in which the couple avoid or abstains from coitus from the day 10 to 17 of the menstrual cycle. When ovulation could be expected, as chance of fertilization are very high during this period, it is known as fertile period. Therefore, by abstaining from coitus during this Therefore, by abstaining from fighters during this period, contraception could be prevented. Withdrawal or fighters interrupted is another method in which the male partner withdraws his penis from the vagina just before ejaculation so, so as to avoid insemination. Lactational amenorrhea, absence of menstruation method is based on the fact that ovulation and their on the fact that ovulation and therefore the cycle do not occur during the period of intense lactation following parturition. Therefore, as long as the mother breastfeeds the child fully, chances of contraception are almost nil. However, this method has been reported to be effective only up to a maximum period of 6 months of partur parturition. As no medicines or devices are used in this method, Side effects are almost nil. Chances of farewell thou of this method are very high. Side effects are nil and the chances of failures are high. In varian method, over sperms are physically are prevented from physically meeting with the help of barrier. Such methods are available for both male and female. Condoms are barriers made with thin rubber lactic sheath that are used to cover the penis in the males and the vagina and cervix in the female just before quitus so that the ejaculated semen would not enter into the female reproductive tract. This can be prevent conception. Nerod is a popular brand of condom for the male. Use of condom has increased in recent years due to its additional benefits of protecting the user from the contracting contracting STIs and AIDS. Both the male and female condoms are disposable, can be self-inserted and thereby gives privacy to the user. Diaphragm, cervical, caps, vaults are the also barrier made of rubbers that are inserted in the female reproductive to cover the cervix during fighters, they prevent conception by blocking the entry of sperm through the through the cervix. They are reusable. Spermicide creams, jelly, and foams are usually along usually used along with this barrier to increase the to increase their contraceptive efficiency. Another effective and popular method is the intrauterine devices. These devices are inserted by doctor or expert nurses in the uterus through vagina. These intrauterine devices are presently available as the non-medicated IUDS, which are lip loop, copper releasing IUDs, which is CUT, CU7, multiload 375. And the hormone releasing IODs are progesterate and LNG20. IODs increase phagocytosis of sperm within the uterus, and the copper ion release suppresses motility and fertilizing capacity of sperm. 
the hormone releasing IUDs. In addition, makes the uterus unsuitable for implantation and uh, make the cervix hostile for the sperm. IUDs are ideal are ideal contraceptive for female who want to delay pregnancy or a space between the children. It is one of the most widely accepted methods for the contraception in India. Oral administration of small doses of either progesterone or progesterone estrogen combination is another contraceptive me method. They are in the form of tablet and hence pro popularly called the pills. Pills have to take in daily for a period of 21 days. Daily for a period of 21 days, starting preferably within the first 5 days of menstrual cycle. After a gap of 7 days during which, during which menstruation occurs, it has to be repeated in the same pattern till the female desires to prevent contraception. They inhibit, they inhibit ovulation and implantation as well as alter the quality of cervical mucus to prevent retard entry of a sperm. Pills are very effective, very, are very effective with lesser side effects and are well accepted by the females. Saheli, the new oral contraceptive for the females contains a non-steroidal preparation. It is a one big pills with very few side effects and high contraceptive value. Progestones along or in combination with estrogen can also be used by the females as injections or implants under the screen. Their mode of action is similar to that of pills and their effective periods are much longer. Administration of progesterone or progesterone estrogen combination or IUDS within 72 hours of coitus has been found very effective as emergency contraceptive as they could be a wide possible pregnancy due to rape causal and protected intercourse. Surgical methods called sterilization are generally advised for male and female as a terminal method to prevent any more to prevent any more pregnancy. Surgical intervention blocks gamete transport and thereby prevent contraception. A sterilization procedure is the in the male is known as vasectomy and in the female it is known as tubectomy. In vasectomy, a small part of vas differentia is removed and tied up through a small incision on the scrotum. Whereas in tubectomy, a small part of fallopian tube removed or tied up through a small scission in the abdomen or through the vagina. These techniques are highly effective, but they are reversible reversibility, but their reversibility is very poor. It needs to be emphasized that the selection of a suitable contraceptive method and its use should always be undertaken in concentration with qualified medical professional. One must also remember that the contraceptive are not regular requirements for the maintenance of reproductive health. In fact, they are practiced against a natural reproductive event, that means conception or pregnancy. One is forced to use these methods either to prevent pregnancy or to delay or space pregnancy due to personal reasons. No doubt, the world bad use this method to a significant role in checking uncontrolled population of growth. However, there are possible ill effects like nausea, abdominal pain, breakthrough, breakthrough bleeding, irregular menses, bleeding or even breast cancer. Thou not the very significant but not totally ignored. MTP which is known as medical termination of pregnancy. International or voluntary termination of pregnancy before full term is known as medical termination of pregnancy 
or induced abortion Ni nearly 45 to 50 million mtp are performed in a year all over the world which accounts to one by fifth of the total number of conceived pregnancy in a year whether to accept or legalize mtp or not is being debated upon in many countries due to emotional ethical religious and social issues involved in it government of india legalized mtp in 1971 India legalized MTP in 1971 with some strict conditions to avoid its misuse. Such restrictions are all more important to check indiscrimination or illegal female feticides, which are reported to be high in India. Why MTP? Obviously, the answer is to get rid of unbounded pregnancy either due to the cause of unprotected intercourse or the failure of the contraceptive used during fighters or rape. MTPs are also essential in certain cases where continuation of pregnancy could be the harmful or even fatal either to the mother or the fetus or both. MTP are considered relatively safe during first trimester. Safe during first trimester that means up to 12 weeks of pregnancy. Second trimester, second trimester abortions are much riskier. One disturbing trend observed is that a majority of MTP are performed illegally by unqualified quacks, which are not only unsafe but could be also fatal too. Another dangerous trend in the misuse of immunosynthesis to determine the sex of unborn child frequently. If the fetus is found to be female, it is followed by MTP. This is totally against which is legal. It is totally against what is legal. Such practice should be avoided because they are dangerous for both the young mother and the fetus. Effective counseling on the need to avoid unprotected quietus and risk factor involved in illegal abortion as well as providing more healthcare facilities could reverse and maintain a healthy trend. Sexually transmitted transmitted infection sti sti infections or disease which are transmitted through sexual intercourse sti sexual transmitted infection stis infections or diseases which are transmitted through sexual intercourse are collectively known as sexual transmitted infections or vulnerable disease reproductive tract infection rti Gonorrhea, syphilis, genital herbs, chlamydis, genital warts, trichomoniasis, 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 hepatitis B, and of course the most discussed infection in recent year, HIV leading to AIDS are some common STIs. Among these, HIV infection is most dangerous and is discussed in detail in chapter 8. Some of the infections like hepatitis B, HIV can also be transmitted by sharing injection needles, surgical instruments with infected person, transfusion of blood or from an infected mother to the fetus too. Except for hepatitis B, genital herbs and HIV infections, all other diseases are completely curable if detected early and treated properly. Early symptoms, most of these are minor and includes itching, flu discharge, slight pain, swelling, etc. in the genital region. Infected female may often uh, be asymptomatic and hence may remain undetected for a long. Absence or less significant symptoms <coughs> in the early stage of infections and the social stigma attached to STIs deter the infected person from going for timely detection and proper treatment. This could lead to complications later, which include pelvic, pelvic inflammatory diseases (PDI), abortion, stillbirths, ectopic pregnancy, infertility, or even cancer of the reproductive tract. STI are the major threat to a healthy society.
therefore prevention or early detection and cure of these diseases are given prime consideration under the reproductive health programs now all persons are vulnerable to these diseases their incidences are reported to be very high among persons in the age between 15 to 24 years the age group which you also belong there is no reason to panic because prevention is possible one could be free of these infections by following simple principles given below avoid sex with unknown partners or multiple partners always try to use condom during fighters in case of doubt one should be go to be qualified doctors or for early detection and get complete treatment if diagnosed with infection infertility A discussion on reproductive health is incomplete without a mention of infertility. A large number of couples all over the world, including India, are infertile. That means they are unable to produce child in spite of unprotected sexual cohabitation. The reason for this could be many physical congenital diseases, drugs, immunological, or even physiological. in india often the female is blamed for the couple being childless but not often not the problem lies in the male partner too a specialized health care unit infertility clinics could help in diagnosis and corrective treatment of some of these disorders and enable these couples to have children however however where such corrections are not possible the couple should as- be assisted to have children through certain special technique known as assisted reproductive technology art in vitro fertilization which is also known as ivf fertilization outside the body in almost similar condition as that in the body followed by embryo transfer et is one of such method in this method popularly known as test tube baby program bear over from the wife ya donor and the sperm from the husband ya donor male are collected and are introduced and are induced to zygote under stimulated simulated condition in a laboratory the zygote or early embryo with up to 8 blastomeres could be transferred into the fallopian tube tube with a process known as gift zygote intra fallopian transfer and embryo with more than 8 blastomeres into the uterus with more than 8 blastomeres into the uterus intrauterine transfer to completes its further development embryo formed by in, vi- in vivo fertilization fusion of gamete within the in vivo fertilization is female of gamete within the female also could be used for such transfer to assist those who cannot conceive the transfer of an ovum collected from a donor into the female female fallopian tube which is also known as gift gamete intra intra fallopian transfer of another female who cannot produce one but can provide suitable environment for fertilization and further development is another method attempted intra cytoplasmic sperm injection icsi is another specialized procedure to form an embryo in the laboratory to form an embryo in the laboratory in which a sperm is directly injected into the ovum in fertility cases either due to the ability inability of the male partner to inseminate or in the female or due to the very low sperm count in the ejaculation could be corrected by artificial in semination means ai technique in this technique the semen collected either from the husband or the healthy donor is artificially introduced into the vagina or into the uterus which is known as intrauterine insemination of the female 
DAO options are many. All these techniques require extremely high precision handling by a specialized professional and expensive instrument. Therefore, these facilities are presently available only in view very few centers in the country. Obviously, their benefits is affordable to only a limited number of people. Emotional, religious, and social factors also also detrained in the adoption of this method. Since the ultimate aim of all this procedure is to have children. In India, we have so many orphaned and destitute children who would probably not survive till maturity unless taken care of. Our law permits legal adaptation and it is as at one of the best method of the couples for looking for parenthood this is now over this chapter now over so thank you so very very thank you to all of you if you like this chap if you like this session subscribe and if we have any problem comment below